Right, everyone. Um, I did say I'd come back and show you how I uh, create these sort of things. They're not hard. Somebody did want to send me one. Uh, oh, a long time ago. And I was just making this one before, but silly me like I am, I forgot to uh, colour the stems. So right now I'm just going to share with you what I did. So I take some of this, uh, it's paper covered wire and you can do, oh, just so many different lengths. So we've got one, I'm going to do two short ones as well. You can keep them long, you don't have to do them separate like me. But I'm going to work on them differently, so. Okay, so now we've got those. Let me just move this rubbish out of the way. It's not rubbish, you know what I mean. So I need my... Uh, I'll need a piece of card of some sort. Oh, this will do. So I've got a piece of this. It's just a bit of um, mulberry paper. I'm using, I've got flowers, berries, and I've got some colouring. Now, I'm going to colour the stems. Like that, and just put that on the deck there. Just leave that to dry. That's what I like about these mats. They're really, really nice. They're quite strong, durable, excellent quality. So if you haven't bought them, go ahead and invest. I've seen mats for a lot less. Oh, I've bought mats for a lot more than this and uh, what we're selling these for. And they've not lasted two bloody minutes. Right, so we'll just let them dry a minute. Now, what I've got here, we've got some of these little sprays. So I've cut them. It's a daisy. Just going to get some more. Now, I'm just going to cut them at the tops there. But don't throw them away. These need cutting down. Okie dokie, we might need to cut them bits off the tops where there's quite thick. Okay, keep hold of these because we're going to use those. So, see if this one's dry. Yeah, that's dry up to now. But what I'm going to do is to do it again. Oh, let me just sort my glue gun out. So, just do it again. Like that. You're basically building up a, a base for it to uh, just hold on to. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. I thought I did six of them. One, two, three, four, five. Didn't I do six? E fee, you're losing it. <laughs> and then just cut that bit off. 
keep hold of those. Now you need to get something really small and for these start at the thickest end out to the tip. Just be careful. So you just round them off, pull them off like that, see? So I'm going to redo these. Now that's broken off, but never mind, don't waste it. Every little bit counts. So we'll do it with this one. Like that, do another one. <coughs> Not sure how many I'm going to use, but you can use as many as you want. And it's better to have them prepared. This is why I don't waste anything. And if you have a little tub with knickknacks in that you might use later on, well, you'll have, you know, these ready, won't you? Okay, oh, there's one there. Let me just do that one quickly. There we go. Right, so I'll put my needle back. Oh. Oh, it don't want to go in. Why not? Upside down, you wally fee. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now, they're dry. We can just peel them off. And basically, I just take hold of a little bit of um, felting. Whatever you've got. Whatever it is you've got. Just going to shape it, that's all. Okay, so we've got that. Now what we're going to do is to glue this onto there. And I've got the smaller ones this way, so you need to turn this the right way. I like that. So we've got that, okay. And then what I'm going to do when that's dried Take that off the mat. Like that. Take my flower. And pop that on there. Okay, so we've got that. And then you don't have to back it, you can just... So, oops, and a bit on the leaf. Right, so we've got this like that. Which, when I can find mine, we've got that. See? So, then what I do is I take my. Uh, it's shaped, it's fatter here than it is here. So, that helps with the shaping. So we just bend all of the wires like that. Just move them out of the way when you've done them. You can bend them back into shape. And then we take that one. Like that. Do it that way, don't we? No, that way. And then we do that one. Okie dokie, and we're going to pull that one. Now you can shape these anyhow you like. 
like that. Bring them closer or not, again. Mine is slightly thicker wire, but you can see the gist of what I'm saying. Now, don't forget, you can colour this anyhow you want. Uh, or use a, uh, I could have used that one. It would have been nice, just the same. So then what I'm going to do is now to attach on some of these. And I'm just going to put them where I want them to be, which is I'm going to rest that across there. Turn it round and pop that back in there. Not a problem. Done. You can cut that and put that somewhere as well. I'll just pop that on top there. There you go. Done. But like I say, you can actually do what the hell you like with them. And you can keep building them up or leave them as is. But, you know, put them however you want them. That's the whole point of doing them. Beautiful colour, look at that. We made these when I first started on YouTube and I called this banana gold. Uh, I don't know why, because it's not banana, it's not gold. <laughs> Actually, I think I used it in the wrong bo uh, bottle. It was a spare bottle. Yeah, that's done. Hopefully, this will work. Move everything to one side. Just pop that on there. Hopefully it'll work. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful colour. Yeah, that'll do. And that was a colour I made up myself. Water and mica. So, we're going to take that off. Just wipe that clean. And it's got the mica in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. What well, you've got to be careful. I should have done the flower first. You do have to be careful. These are polystyrene. You don't want to be burning them. Let's push that up a little bit and that. That's it. Oh, they look pretty. I think so. And we're just going to give it a quick spray. Yeah, that's got most of that. Oh, come on. 
See, a lot of the old ones don't spray. I've not used them in a long time. But that's not a problem. Because we take hold of a paintbrush. And we just paint it whatever colour you want it to be. while that's drying, the bit that I'm using um, isn't giving the proper shipping out. In some cases, I may owe you, and in that case, you will get a refund at the end of the month, which is when we do our refunds. Um, and it has been pointed out that I haven't charged enough for something else, you know, for shipping on a, a lady's parcel. And I know there's a couple of people that will owe me. Now, if you owe me, you will be invoiced. And um, same goes for it. when you're changing it from um, dollars. Please pay in dollars, but put in the amount in the exchange. Try the exchange rate on Google. Um, so if I charge you £12, you have to put in £12 and see what your payment is in dollars. Because what's been happening is people have been putting in the exchange rate. Um, uh, sorry, people have been um, only paying in dollars. When they've charged twelve pound, they've charged they've paid twelve dollars. You don't do it like that. You have to do the exchange rate your end if it doesn't automatically do it for you. So obviously, if I charge a set amount, it won't come up if you're paying in dollars as the same amount. If it does, then you know something. Sorry, something's wrong. So you'll have to go and check out what it is that you owe and pay it that way. I don't know. Zibit's having problems at the moment with their um, website, um, but they can't work out what it is and why it's not charging properly. So, like, I've sold something for £5 and it's been selling on the other end for $5, which is wrong because it should be $5.69, something like that. So that's making me short constantly. And the shipping, I don't know what's happening with the shipping. It's um, oh, Don't forget... It's cheaper to ship now abroad because we use economy than it is. It's half price to what it was. So if you sat there going, oh, it's too expensive for me. No, we're, we're starting to send out all overseas par um, parcels um, economy. And the reason why we're doing it is because we found that it's taken the same length of time, if not a little bit less in some cases, to receive your parcels. And yet their charges, we were paying um, first class. It was arriving fourth class. See, we, there isn't such a thing, but that's how it was arriving. And now it's arriving on time or just before. So, and it's half the price if we send it economy. It can, however, take another few extra few days up to a week. But, you know, if you're going to save on shipping, at least you're going to get a chance to buy the goodies that we have in the store. And we have over 400 items in there. So, please, 
Um, I did last year um, ask, I sent an invoice to somebody who's not with us anymore. Um, and when I say that, she's not dying. She's just left because she got uppity. Um, the shipping was wrong. I sent her an invoice and it was only for £2.40 that she was short in her shipping. And I got a lot of abuse back. And I'm afraid I'm not doing that. I won't take that. Um, if you're buying from the store, you'll buy on the understanding that I may owe you, but you may owe me. And either way, you'll get a refund or uh, you can have it in goods if you wish. Or, um, you know, you have to pay the invoice that I, set, um, I send you. And fortunately, most people do. A lot of people are understanding because they understand. It's... <sighs> Everything's just going up the wall, isn't it, really, when we think about it. There's a lot of crap going off at the moment. It's driving me potty. But people are receiving the parcels, so it's nothing to do with that. It's just the shipping. A lady said she owed me, and did I know that? I do, and I will invoice you at the end of the um, month. But thank you for that, for, you know, just letting me know. Anyway, I'm going to put this on here, just so you can see it a little bit better. Let me just... Fill this up. Look. Now that can go up the spine of a book, the bottom of a book, the bottom of a page. Wherever you want to put it. And you can move them about and do whatever you want with them. You know, just to play. I love doing them. And, whoops, I just nearly, did you hear that? I dropped all my beads. Thankful it was only a few. So we've just done that one. This was one that was originally um, looked like, well, no. I don't know whether that was the original one. I've just coloured the flower that somebody sent me and that's where I've got it from. So it's not my creation. You can join your stems together. Do whatever it is you like. Add takeaway. Dangle some off here if you want. But I'm just sharing that with you. Let me just do that one. That one and that because we've made them. And that one. So I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. Take care. Please run along to the shop. I've put some more of the journal kits up. They are absolutely fabulous. Filled with stuff. And I think there's only four or five left. So grab them while you can. And they're well worth the money. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll speak to you all soon. And no, I haven't finished the carousel, but I will be. Bye-bye for now.